So last time y'all went fishing with me, I was trying to teach y'all how to catch a fish with a big old wiener. Because fish love big wieners. But then I got to thinking, you know, every man don't have the capability of fishing with a big wiener. Because some men have little wieners and some men have fat wieners. So today, I'm gonna show y'all how to catch fish with a little wiener and with a fat wiener. In order to catch fish with a little wiener, you have to use a different technique than when you use a big wiener. You see, when you use a big wiener, you just flop that thing on out there and the fish look at it and they're like, oh my gosh, that's a big wiener and they wanna put their mouth on it. But when you use a little wiener, you have to make it wiggle. You have to make it dance. You have to make them fish look at it and say, oh man, I want that little wiener in my mouth. Look at that thing dancing around there like that. I've been fishing with plenty of fellas before that have tried to use their little wieners and they didn't use their little wieners properly, okay? You've got to really know how to use a little wiener to make a fish bite it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hook here and I'm gonna put my little wiener on my hook, just like so. So much easier to handle a little wiener. You know, you can get your hand and you can really just put it around your little wiener. You can't do that with a big wiener, okay? It takes two hands for a big wiener. It just takes two fingers for a little wiener. You wanna hook that little old wiener on there like that? Look at there, look at there. See, so got that little wiener hooked right there? Now I'm gonna throw it in the water and I'm gonna make it dance. And them fish is gonna come up and they're gonna expect it and they'll say, well, you know what? I ain't never had a little wiener in my mouth before. I always had them big wieners. And they're gonna try it out. And then I'm gonna jerk them up. I'm gonna jerk that little wiener right in their mouth. Now I can already see there's a cooter sitting right there. You can see it right there in my video. He's just waiting for this little wiener. I'm tell you, them cooters, they love wieners. It don't matter what size the wiener. It don't matter if it's a big wiener, if it's a fat wiener, if it's a little wiener. Cooters love wieners. Take this wiener here and I'm gonna throw my wiener. Chump my wiener on out there. All right, now what you want to do is you want to make that wiener dance, okay? You know, make that wiener dance. Make that wiener dance. Like that. There's probably fish all around it looking at it right now. Just, I just hope that cooter don't shut my wiener up, you know. I don't want that cooter to get a hold of my wiener. I see them. They's inspecting it. They's inspecting my little wiener. All right, now here's the deal, okay? I'm going to make this dance one more time. And usually, if you throw it out there two or three times and there ain't nothing putting their mouth on you, little wiener, you ain't gonna catch nothing. With a little wiener, they either like it or they don't. Well, got me something. I thought I had me something. I stuck to a tree. All right, so I've been fishing long enough with my little wiener and it didn't work. Nothing wanted to put their mouth on it. You know, a lot of things just don't like little wieners, you know? When it comes to wiener size, it, it really does matter, okay? So to all y'all fellas that are trying to use your little wieners, you're at a disadvantage, okay? Because them fellas with them big wieners, they're just impressive. Big wieners are more impressive. I mean, when I hold this up, what do you think? Oh my goodness, that's a big old wiener. When I hold this up, what do you think? Oh, look at that cute little wiener. All right, so now I'm switching over to the fat wiener. Now, there are some advantages to a fat wiener, all right? Now, long wieners can be scary. A fish can look at a long wiener and feel intimidated. Now, a fish can look at a fat wiener and think, oh man, that'll fit in my mouth just perfect. It's not too big, like a long wiener, and it's not too small, like a little wiener. It's just the perfect size wiener. That owl over there sees me with my fat wiener in my hand. He's over there hoot hooting at me. Hoo hoo, is that with that fat wiener in his hand? Right, we're gonna try to hook this old fat wiener on here. Now that's one thing about trying to hook a fat wiener. It's so much easier to hook a little wiener than it is a fat wiener, cause you got all that meat, you know? That's a lot of meat right there. That's a lot of meat for a fish to put in its mouth. And a fish knows that. That's why a fish likes a fat wiener. Cause they're like, oh my gosh, look at that fatness of the wiener. And they just wanna go and put the wiener in their mouth. Problem is with a fat wiener, a fish can choke to death. I have seen my wife plenty of times put a fat wiener in her mouth and she just can't take it. She can't breathe, she starts gagging. It's scary. So that's why we only buy the little wieners for her now. She can eat the little wieners just fine. She can put four or five little wieners in her mouth at a time and be okay. She can't handle one fat wiener. If you think she's bad trying to put a fat wiener in her mouth, you should see her try to put that long wiener in her mouth. Goodness gracious, you'd think it'd kill her. She's like, goodness, God, this, this big wiener right here is just too much for me. She likes it, though. You know, she likes a challenge, so she likes to see if she can put that big wiener in her mouth. All right, now what you want to do is you want to make that hook like it's done disappeared, all right? That way when that fish comes up, 
He just sees a big fat wiener on the line. And fish is like, well, there's me a fat wiener to put my mouth on it. <laughs> tries to suck that fat wiener up in its mouth and it, that's when you hook him. Wiener is in the water. A wet wiener is always a good wiener. I love getting my wiener wet. There is no better feeling really than getting your wiener wet, you know. Leave my wiener out here for a little bit. Let these fish check it out. You know, the fish is gonna have to look at it for a minute and test it out. They might wanna nibble at the tip of it. They might wanna lick the shaft of the wiener, you know? So I'm gonna leave it in there and I'm gonna let them try it out a little bit, nibble on it. Then I'll shake the wiener a little and let them see that this wiener is lively. Well, I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but that was some thundering. I guess God don't want me to be fishing with my wiener today. I guess I need to put my wieners up and head on home. So I guess my, my wieners just ain't been catching much out here on the pond, you know. I, I catch a lot of stuff on my wieners, uh, just ain't catching no fish. Next time we have to try something else, God bless y'all, America, I love you. Thank you for wiener fishing with me.